Hi, I'm Rodney Orpheus and this is my studio in London, England. And today I'm going to show you how to connect this turntable to the rest of the studio. All you need is this simple little box from iConnectivity. It's called Spin XLR. And it's a missing link between vinyl records and studio sound. It's a very simple box. At one end you have phono connectors that plug into your turntable. At the other end you have XLR cables that plug into your mixing desk or your audio interface. And that's it. That's literally all you need. You don't even need a power supply or anything like that. This is the entire system. Let's see that in action. So let's look at the back of the turntable. First thing to do is take the phono connectors from the back of the turntable and put them into the Spin XLR's phono connectors here. Just that simple. Some turntables also have a third cable, which is a ground cable. If your turntable has one of those, just connect it to this ground jack here. All right. If your turntable has a switch in the back that says line phono, make sure it's switched to the phono position. If you use the line position, that will actually use the internal preamp of the turntable itself, which usually are consumer quality, shall we say. They're not quite up to the standard of the professional level preamp that we have in the Spin XLR. So you definitely want to set that for phono, not line. Uh, you'll also notice some turntables have a USB connector on the back uh, that's designed to connect to a computer. I don't recommend you use this because normally, again, they have uh, consumer level AD converters inside which are considerably weaker than what you'll have in a professional audio interface. Uh, and this one, for example, it's only a 16-bit converter, whereas my audio interface has 24-bit converters. So we'll get a much better dynamic range using our professional audio interface. Now we just need to connect the other end of Spin XLR to our audio interface or mixing desk. Uh, we can connect to any device that has XLR inputs and that can supply 48 volt phantom power, which is 99% of the interfaces and mixing desks in the market. Now, if your interface is right beside your turntable, you can connect directly with these cables. But usually in a studio environment like this, it's easier just to connect them to a pair of XLR cables and then connect the other ends of the XLR cables to your interface. All you have to do then is make sure to switch on the phantom part. You will usually see on your interface a small switch that's marked 48V for 48 volts. Click on that 48 volt switch and make sure you're sending power to both of these cables. Now, Spin XLR is a very powerful preamp and it requires phantom power from both channels. Once you've done that, you'll see that these lights light up on Spin XLR. There are two lights for 48 volt phantom power, one for each channel. When they're both lit, that means the Spin XLR preamp is powered up and ready to go. All we need to do now is start up a record and that's it that's all there is to it it's a great system if you mix or master vinyl records which a lot of people are doing these days you can hear them back in the environment that you recorded them in but it's also great if you just love to listen to great records and want to hear them on the best system you've got so that's spin xlr enjoy